Hello YouTube, I am the Lazzle Tazzle. This is my video of how to connect a high voltage solar array to a quarry. This means you do not have to use fuel, water or a combustion engine. First you're going to need high voltage solar panels. We've got two here. We're just going to do a basic five block. Put some uh, glass fiber into the cable down. That one on there. Connect it more, so we've got a nice little setup. An MFSU, this little red button, well, red side is the side we need to connect the MFSU to our en energy link, which is going to be connected to our quarry. So that is our energy link. What we do on this side from the MFSU, we get glass fiber cables, connect them. As you can see, it shows it's connected. On this side, we're going to need a wooden conductive pipe, plug in there, as you can see that is connected. Unfortunately it's raining, so I'm going to just quickly alter it, just so, it's, so we can start powering up our MFSU. As you can see we've got light, which means that is going to power, which means this is going to work, hopefully. Hey. As you can see that little blue line inside there, that shows that it's now connected and power's running through. So what we're going to do, we're going to get our quarry, place it down there, as you can see the frame starts building straight away. This is a really really fast way, if you do it with a combustion engine it's going to take forever. So what we're going to need now is a basic chest. and some golden transport pipes just to connect all the stuff from this quarry to a chest as you can see it's spitting all over the place so we're going to put that there that there not that there chickens in the way <laughs> we're going to connect that so as you can see, all of our stuff starts going to this large chest. It's just an easier way to contain the stuff. Therefore, it's not spitting around and you're losing valuable ore. What this is doing is it's drilling it away. I'm going to get off here before <laughs> I get lost. But this whole setup, it's incredibly expensive to make. And I'm just going to show you how expensive it is. Alright, so put to recipe mode. We'll start with the high voltage solar arrays, as you can see, we just click on that, it's really expensive. First of all, HP transformers, energy crystals, 4 times in H, HP cables, electronic circuits, MV transformer, machine block, 2 times insulated, gold cable. So we need 8 medium voltage solar arrays, you do that by making a low voltage, then a solar panel, with just a low voltage transformer and all these little materials here which is going to be a pain in the ass to make but in the end it's worth it because it's completely renewable the sun there just activates it all the time you have it running pretty much constantly to ensure that you don't get any lava flowing through get a water bucket shovel dig down and just pour water through it just so it starts to spread do that on this side and do something like that and then we need our, another water bucket in there this just ensures that when it starts to get deep down you get lava it's not going to burn everything away as you can see we still need one more over this side that's no problem. So just yeah, just ensuring that we get all the materials that we can. Make sure it's all covered as it is. It will not suck up any water, which is a really good thing. But yeah, this is the setup. As you can see, it's a really really quick gatherer. Once it starts to get further down, you get some sometimes some precious materials. I hope this has helped you. 
Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.